G'day, Simon here at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Tom, who brought an amazing car of the week. I was walking through the show, it wasn't in the Exotics Overflow, and then I see a crowd and I go back over and they go, holy cow, what is that? Amazing car, what is it, Tom? It's a 1956 Lotus 11. Yeah, it is so beautiful. Hey, check this thing out. Tom, we, we get Lotuses here, typically newer stuff, and a few of the classics. I don't think we've had anything like this here before. Tell us about this car. How did you end up with it? What, what was your sort of reason for wanting to get this car? Well, my brother's buddy had something very similar at Westfield. So when I was living in Alaska, he ordered up this thing. Uh, we did uh, remods on it. We stripped off as much fiberglass as we were able to and put in, swapped it all out for aluminum. And once we figure out how to do the weld joints proper, the front and the back will be aluminum when we're all done. So this is currently fiberglass and this is currently fiberglass. Exactly, everything else is aluminum. So this is a, a replica of the original? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a Westfield, which is a continuation. Continuation, which is interesting. So Lotus is one of those interesting companies because they were, they were more than just automotive manufacturers uh, in terms of their own cars. They built motors for things like Ford Cortinas and, and Escorts could, could, could be bought with Lotus Motors, mm -hmm. as well as Coldsworth, of course. But also they were known for building suspension for other makes as well. But then their own cars, uh, they were pretty much a car that if you wanted something to be able to go around a corner and have a good power to weight ratio, that's what Lotus was kind of all about, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it's a whopping 940 pounds. Yep and we've got 134 horsepower at the wheels wow that's and it started out as a, a midget block interesting punched it out to a 1338 because the coventry block itself was worth more than the car yeah right interesting so there were those and the, the block you're talking about from the midget that's pretty much the same motor that was used in the mg the morris miners the minis that all of those things pretty much had the same sort of motor which means parts are incredibly readily available but there's also a lot of cool go fast parts for those oh, motors yeah as well. the good parts cost us you know an arm and a leg and a wife so what the heck? <laughs> did you just say an arm and a leg and a wife yeah well she wasn't happy with me driving it uh, that, oh see that's a hard thing that's uh, okay though because <laughs> I have my piece with it. You yeah, have, well that's all that really matters. Uh, it's, it's a tight little cockpit, I mean you wouldn't want to be, I mean when you're sitting in there, you look at the way this is all done, yes there is a passenger seat so you've got to take that other side off and obviously that part of the cowling, but if you feel like you're sitting in a Formula 2 or something in there, wouldn't you? You're, you're in a tight box, we have a whole center section we can swap out. Interesting. Um, so that you actually have the two seater. To track it you have to have a second seat. Right, okay. So we keep it like this because when you're driving in the sun, Everything in there is polished aluminum, so you're basically in an easy big oven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you, you don't really want that. I love the springs and the leather straps as the secondary there. This is just so, so cool. Can we have a look under the hood, please, Tom? Sure, absolutely. Tom, be before we look under the pointy end, let's have a chat about these doors. I noticed you get out of the doors and uh, they're bifold, so let's, let's just open that up. So there's a little latch that we can see here and then there's a little latch on the inside. And look at that. And there's uh, there's like spring, all sorts of stuff. Now, I mentioned this sort of bifold door and you had said an interesting story around the design. Tell us about that again. What I heard was Colin Chapman's brother-in-law worked for the Spitfire design team during World War II. So the doors basically are the same design as the Spitfires had. Well, I tell you what, they did, they did well for a Spitfire, why wouldn't you put them on a car, you know? That, exactly. That's great. Let's have a look under the hood. Uh, there's that uh, midget engine, which as we said, you know, that could be found in all sorts of uh, Morris, British Leyland, uh, MGs, you name it, that was that was the sort of thing. This, you're running a, a side draft uh, Weber on it. Okay. Um, so, how fun is that to tune? I, I guess a single Weber, Weber's not too bad, it's only when you have multi Weber's. You the Webers are as easy as the SUs are. Right. If you have all the jets and all the things yeah. that you need. Yep. Um, we kind of cheat. We have a specialist that comes over because we have cars that have uh, four carburetors, on, four dual barrels. Um, Webers are fun. Yeah. But yep. They bark and they spit and they cough and they do all the kinds of noisy good things. Yeah, that you want in a car like this. Which exactly. You, and which when the carburetor is as big as the engine, you, yeah, you yeah. know you're going to go fast. Yeah, ab absolutely. Is that so? 
radiator down in the front down there yeah it's underneath the, the hooding okay interesting so the hot air is not blowing back on the motor it's basically going through the radiator and then straight down onto the ground exactly which is really interesting if you look down there see that at first i saw that and thought maybe the fuel tank's there but then realized there's still a radiator there pushing air downwards uh, really really interesting car um now did you say you had one when you were younger as well was that well, we right? had one a few years back very similar but the, it was different setup yeah and we decided to do all kinds of super mods to it and decided that this was a better design yeah it's it's really really cool so when when was this this car first given a vin when was it first built 10 years ago right okay interesting it's so great that you can get a such an authentic replica of such a classic car and have it look like it, you know could have rolled off the factory oh it's it's so funny because people say is is that a real one yep and legally it is however it wasn't built in 56 yeah yeah absolutely and the difference is um westfield would would do the rebuilds when they were wrecked in the 50s and they had three quarter inch round tubing and when he would rebuild them he'd put the one inch square tube interesting in. interesting and so if you know if if i bump into something there's nothing going to stop whatever it is from eating me except the water reservoir yeah, yeah exactly um, and, and the reason they went from round to square tubing of course you can bend a round pole easier than you can bend a square pole because of course anything that has two vertical sides or actually even one vertical side when you think of an i-beam is stronger than something that has a curved bend in it if you grab a piece of uh exhaust pipe for example it's easier to route that round try and bend something that's square all of a sudden you're actually having to compress a whole lot of metal which is almost impossible exactly and and back then the cars were designed to track for two years, campaign for two years max. Yep. The aluminum was so thin that pebbles would actually migrate through the aluminum. Wow. So we, that's why uh, he would actually put the fiberglass shells on it. Yeah, interesting. Uh, that was way back when. And much easier to mold a fiberglass shell than to hand beat uh, aluminum yeah. in the shape as well. Well, as our car of the week winner and a very worthy one at that for this beautiful beautiful car you get yourself a Meguiar's complete kit which includes the quick shine foam the quick interior detailer perfect clarity glass cleaner uh, ultimate car wash and wax hydro hyd hybrid ceramic detailer it's a mouthful and a microfiber keep this amazing amazing car in the beautiful condition it's in thank you so much for bringing it out and congratulations well thank you Simon appreciate it